Hey everyone, so we are back. This is day three and we wanted to update you on how our bugs are doing. So as you can see, our caterpillars are moving around and look at that. Look at how they move their bodies. Pretty interesting. We have one caterpillar who doesn't seem to have made it. Um, see this tiny one here that is about the size that they were um, when they arrived but um, it's providing us with a good example of how much they've grown in just the short amount of time that we've had them um, so we have four that have grown really really nicely and they're moving around quite a bit that one has not moved at all and it hasn't grown at all so um, but that's okay. Um, that's part of the circle of life, is it not? So we are now on step two in our caterpillar quick guide. And um, it says, after seven to ten days, your caterpillars will climb to the top of the cup and attach themselves to the underside of the lid. They will hang in a J shape shed their exoskeletons one last time and harden into chrysalides. Um, so it's been three days and we have a couple more days to wait. So this will be exciting. You will see these little caterpillars grow even more and more. And um, as it said, they will shed their exoskeletons one last time. If you can see in the bottom of the cup, there are little black specks in there. Those are pieces of their exoskeletons. It's uh, pieces of their skin that they have sloughed off or shed off as they've gotten bigger. So we will see more of those as they get bigger and bigger and bigger. But they are doing very well. They're very happy caterpillars. Put you back here. So we are now in the second stage of their life cycle. The caterpillars are eating and eating and eating so they can grow and grow and then they will form a chrysalis and they will hang from the top of the cup. We have gotten lucky. We monitor our insects um, very closely and it is very, very cool to see them make their chrysalis. Um, so I hope that we catch them this year and you will get to see it this year with us because it's amazing. And moving on to the praying mantis. So we are still at step two in the life cycle. Um, this is really part of step one as well um, because the Uthaka just hardens and gets uh, more brown around the eggs. Um, the nymphs won't start hatching yet. Uh, we have been spraying it, so it's nice and, and humid in there for the Uthaka because it likes humidity. It will not um, properly hatch if there's not enough humidity. If it's dehydrated, they will just die. Um, so make sure that you're spraying it a bit, um, just a little bit each day, uh, very lightly, and actually, we do a tiny bit each day, but it says here in our quick guide, so follow your quick guide. Um, it says uh, step two, transfer your egg case. We had done that. Uh, so what you want to do is um, provide humidity by misting the enclosure, not the egg case directly, very lightly with water once a week. Um, so it also says here that, <laughs> the egg case will start to hatch in three to ten weeks so we still have a while um, we usually do release our caterpillars and our ladybugs long before our Uthaka it's usually sitting around for another week or two um, before we see that start to hatch but it's amazing to see that too so I can't wait to show you the hatching of that Uthaka because just hundreds of these nymphs come pouring out and it's pretty amazing so and here are our ladybug larvae and they have been very active all day they have been 
climbing around their whole cage. I was, or habitat, I should say. I was really hoping to catch it on video. Um, we had a couple, oh, there's one in the top by the magnifying glass. We had a couple that were cr crawling all over the uh, dome. It was pretty cool to watch. But they have grown a lot too. Um, if you can see on these little green slivers of paper, the little black um, dots there that you can see every once in a while, those again are the exoskeletons, just like the exoskeletons of the caterpillars. So as the larvae are growing and shedding their skin, they leave it behind. So that's what you see there, just like snakes do. Sometimes you might be out at the park and see a snake skin or something, um, especially if you live in the southern um, hemisphere, you'll maybe find snake skins a lot more often than we do here in the northern hemisphere. But um, snakes do the same thing. They show their exoskeletons as they grow. So here is one of our ladybug larvae. Happily crawling around. These are always hard to focus on. Here we go. But they have grown quite a bit as well. There it goes. But they're eating and eating, and um, we have been continuing to add some water to the sponge at the top of the volcano because once again, the ladybug larvae love, love, love humidity. So they will keep uh, being happy little larvae as long as you keep their habitat nice and humid like they like. Here's another little guy down here. But they have grown a lot. And um, it's really fun to watch how quickly the changes occur. And we have our quick guide here. So you want to place two drops of water on that sponge every day. Uh, you don't want to add too much water and make it too, too humid, but I would be more worried about n it not being humid enough than too humid. So don't stress about it. Here's a really good view of one. And um, so we are now at step three. Watch your ladybugs grow pupate and hatch. So um, where we call the caterpillars um, third stage of their life cycle, their chrysalis, um, we call that third stage in the life cycle for a ladybug a pupa. So they will make their pupa. And um, that's what you see right there. They look really cool. It's like they're curled up in a little ball. And it gets hard and it gets shiny, just like the uh, caterpillars chrysalis does. And um, so it says that our ladybug larva will spend about one week eating, growing, and molting. So molting is that shedding of their exoskeleton. Um, and once they're in their pupa, it will take about five to seven days for them to hatch. So we will keep you guys updated, but we still have a couple more days for um, our ladybug larva to continue to grow as well. So it seems that our ladybug larva and our caterpillars will most likely be going into their pupa and chrysalis at the same, around the same time. Um, because the larvae need about one week and the caterpillars are approximately the same time, one week. The caterpillars spend seven to 10 days growing. So it will be exciting to see it all happen. Thank you guys for joining us for an update today. And go ahead and subscribe so that we can give you uh, more updates on our insects and show you the most exciting part of their life cycles. Thanks so much. You guys have a fabulous day. Bye.